Hey, how are you doing? Um, I'm sorry about yesterday that uh, we were not able to do our Google Meets. I'm very sorry about that, but we had uh, internet problems. So let's start with our vocabulary of this week. This week, the vocabulary is really important in order to follow along the follow uh, follow along the lessons. Uh, let's start with the first word. The first word today is drought. A drought is a long period of time during which there is very little or no rain. Droughts have very important consequences in our uh, in an agricultural society. If there is very little or no rain, farmers cannot grow plants. If they cannot grow plants, they cannot feed their families or feed the animals that they need to produce food. In another case, if they, um, if they cannot grow plants, they cannot sell and they cannot get, they cannot sell the plants that they grow and they cannot get money. So droughts are, have very, very important and negative consequences in a society. Um, sorry, the part of speech is a noun, it's a drought, it's a noun. Uh, word number two is investor. A investor is a person that gives money to a business hoping to earn more money in return. Uh, if you try to start a business, if you want to start a business, you're going to need some investors. That means people that is willing to give you money and they're going to give you that money hoping to get more money in return. That means they are not going to give you the money because they like you. They're going to give you the money because they want to make more money in return. Now, um, the part of speech is a uh, very uh, is a noun. Word number three is cash crop. A cash crop is a crop that is raised for sale, not for the use, not for the use by the people who farm it. It's a noun. What this means is if you grow carrots or corn or wheat, you're, uh, you can farm it, you can cultivate that, and you can use it at home. You can use it for your, uh, to, to feed yourself. But a cash crop is not that way. Uh, you farm this uh, plant with uh, the only idea of making business, of selling this product. A good example could be tobacco, cotton, rubber, uh, sugar cane. Some of those uh, cash crops you can you cannot use per se to feed a family, but you can use them to be sold. That's a, that's a business. Word number four: House of Burgesses. It's going to be a noun and is going to be the lower house of the colonial Virginia legislature. The House of Burgesses was the first elect general assembly in the colonies, paving the way for the democratic society form during uh, the revolution. I'm, I'm sorry about this. So, the most important part of the House of Burgesses is this, the lower house of colonial Virginia legislature. A legislature is a group of people uh, with the power to make and change laws. When um, the English arrived to North America to create their colonies, they had to establish some rules, some laws, and this House of Purchases was the first one 
that they came to the to the new Virginia colony, and they start trying to uh, making their own laws to to govern them themselves. Representative person chosen by the voters to speak and act for them. The part of speech is also a noun. Uh, remember, in the uh, a couple of weeks ago, we have a, an election, and we choose the representatives. So we choose people that they are going to speak for us. Next word, representative. It's a person chosen by the voters to speak and act for them. It's a noun. A couple of weeks ago, we had a election and we choose some representatives. We also choose a president, but we choose representatives because it's easier for us to choose someone that uh, speak for us and tell what we really want to happen. Next word, pilgrim. A pilgrim is a person that goes on a religious journey. It's going to be a noun. Next word, um, the Mayflower Compact is an agreement or set of rules for a self-government who governance establish, let me start again. An ag uh, Mayflower Compact, an agreement or set of rules for self-government, self-government, govern. Again, Mayflower Compact, an agreement or set of rules for self-government governance established by the English settlers. This means it's a set of, set of rules so they can uh, govern by themselves and they are uh, choosing their own rules. This Mayflower Compact is going to be the one that we use to establish the Constitution of the United States. Word number eight, indenture, indenture servant is someone who agrees to work without pay for someone else for a set amount of time. As you're going to probably see, uh, it relates like a type of enslavement. Uh, uh, slaves, they work for all their lives in most of the time. But an indentured slave is someone that isn't going to work for someone without pay and is going to is going to be for a certain amount of time. And the last word of today is Puritan. A Puritan is a member of a Protestant group in England and New England in the 16th and 17th century that opposed many customs of the Church of England. The, there's going to be a difference between the Pilgrim and the Puritans. The Puritans are going to be a group of the Protestant Church and they are going to don't like a lot of the customs that the Church of England practices. So these are going to be our vocabulary words for today. Um,